Hello guys, in this video I wanted to show you the small little accessory for gimbals from Digital Photo called the Spider. It's designed specifically for uh, the DJI Ronin S and the Zion Crane 2, uh, but as you'll see it actually works pretty well with other gimbals too. It's a pretty simple little device, uh, but very useful when you're working with a gimbal. Uh, so basically what you got up here is these two metal pieces, uh, there's you know screws up here so these separate, and this goes uh, kind of wraps around the top of your gimbal. Uh, allows you to attach different accessories this way. You have different uh, attachments here. Plus, you have this little ring here. And uh, what you also get when you order this, you get uh, this kind of a belt. You can uh, attach it. And now, thanks to this belt, uh, you get something that's going to take the weight off of your arms when you're working with a heavier gimbal for long periods of time. So what I got here is the Crane 2 uh, gimbal from Zion, and uh, it's, it's one of those gimbals that's a little bit on the heavier side. Uh, not as heavy though as the DJI Ronin S, uh, but, but close to it. And you know, definitely once you build it up, depending on what camera you put, what accessories, lenses, up here I got the, a monitor, uh, you know, and you can add a whole bunch of other accessories. But even this kind of a, I would say, medium-sized setup, it's already, it's getting a little bit heavy. Uh, you know, you can run around with it for a little bit, but definitely your hands are going to get tired. And and if you want to take a break, uh, it's kind of difficult. Like, usually before what I would do is I would just kind of rest the legs here uh, on my belt here and do it like this. But it still makes it difficult if I need to, let's say, readjust something with the lens or, you know, things like that. Uh, so now having this thing... Uh, is really helpful because all I can do is just put the strap over here and as you can see you know I can still operate the gimbal and I can adjust the, the length of this however I want it to be uh, I can make it shorter or longer and as you can see I'm pretty free in my movement but if I want to rest again I just kind of rest it here on my belt uh, and I can take my hands off of uh, the, the gimbal and as you can see it just stays there so this again allows me to you know Again, adjust my lens, my ND filter, things like that. Uh, so yeah, it's it's kind of handy in that sense. And another thing you'll notice also is, especially with this gimbal or with the DJI Ronin uh, S, this really comes in handy if you want to attach accessories to your gimbal. Because this one, just like with the DJI Ronin S, uh, they don't really have uh, any attachments here, especially here on the top. Uh, so you can, let's see, in this case, I attached a magic arm. Uh, or if you want to attach a microphone or things like that. There's no quarter 20 or 3 8 inch uh, holes. Whereas up here, as you can see, you've got them all around here. Uh, and you also even got some here on the top. So you can attach, you know, and on the bottom. You can attach various accessories all over the place now. Uh, anyways, now let's look at the next gimbal. Unfortunately, I don't have the DJI Ronin S here with me today. But I've got the next best thing, which is the Mozua Air 2 gimbal. And even though this thing isn't actually meant uh, to be used with the Mozua Air, uh, as you can see, it still works. I, I wasn't able to mount it here, where it would be ideal, I guess, because then it wouldn't be blocking my access to the trigger, even though I can still press the trigger, um, so I can still, for example, lock the gimbal if I want to. Uh, it's just kind of a little bit harder to reach there. But, but it still works. As you can see, I can let go of the gimbal, and it just stays up here in one place. Um, you know, it takes basically all the weight off my hand. But yeah, as you can see, this thing works, even though it's, again, not meant to really work with the Mozilla Air. And this thing is, uh, like right now, this is a pretty damn heavy setup. I don't have a monitor up here, which I would probably normally be still, uh, you know, uh, mounting on there. But uh, I've got the Blackmagic Packet Cinema 4K camera. The camera itself isn't maybe that heavy, but I, I put in the cage and all these accessories. I put a... Uh, extra base plate here to offset the camera a little bit on the gimbal. I have a Metabones here uh, uh, adapter under. I have the Sigma 18 to 35 uh, art lens. I have also the Moza I, I focus, uh, you know, motor for focusing it. Um, and you know, and again, I, you, I could still even add actually extra weight because the gimbal will, would be able to take it. You can kind of shows you that you can have now a lot of possibilities of like accessories and things like that. Like let's say if I wanted to put a microphone under maybe uh, some kind of filters in front of the, the lens. I can still add that because the gimbal is going to take the weight. That's one of the reasons why I love this gimbal. Uh, but also because, uh, you know, now using this thing, it's, uh, it's, it's just much easier to kind of work with this thing. So it's, you know, again, I don't get as tired or as quickly, you know, as, as I would without this thing. And, and again, this is normally how I would be kind of operating. 
and then you know, if I need to go higher, I'll just go higher. If I need to go lower, I'll go lower. So it's, it's not a problem. So as you guys can see, a simple little device, but comes in really handy. Um, what I like about it is it's you know well machined. Uh, they also give you these little rubber uh, stoppers here on the on the two sides that clamp around your gimbal. And this is helpful because it's not gonna scratch your gimbal, uh, and also just kind of helps it stay in place there and kind of really locked locks in. Uh, it's very solid, which is important if you're gonna trust you know put all the weight of your whole gimbal on this. Uh, and I also like like this, you know, just overall the, the design of it. The belt is feels very sturdy. Uh, here, these buckles they rotate uh, freely, you know, 360 degrees. So it doesn't matter how you clip them on, you can always get the belt uh, orientated properly. Uh, you can easily adjust the length of this, so you can tighten it or or make it longer or shorter. Uh, and also the here they give you like a little. Uh, on one side rubber padded um, kind of a shoulder here strap and it's also kind of foam a little bit softer so if you do have this wrapped around your shoulder for a long period of time uh, it's 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 gonna go you know it's gonna be easy on, on your on your shoulder on your back all right so that's it for this video if you guys liked it let me know in the comment section below uh, and if you want more content like this then head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com and subscribe to my newsletter also consider supporting me on patreon uh, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.